All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm Dr. Dees, and today we're playing some more Welcome to EU4 with Professor mm -hmm. Thornburg. Yeah, there he is. All right. So um, we left off promising you that we would attack Morocco, and we tried to do that in the last episode, but we weren't able to. Um, things should run a lot more smoothly this time, and we should be able to achieve our goals. So we guarantee <laughs> that we you will stole start. My line. You guarantee, stole my line. Yeah, if you, you stole if you've watched Town of Salem or Let's Plays in that before, you know that he likes to say guarantee. And so I'm going to guarantee that we will attack Morocco. Now, if it was Nathan, that might not be the case because his guarantees hey. usually don't result in what hey, he. Hey, go watch the series, and it'll prove to you that my guarantees are pretty good. Uh huh. Pretty good. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'd say above 50%. Alright, so let's get going, because we have a lot of ground to cover. Um, maybe yes. speed 2, though. I, I'm on speed 3. You are. I'm trying to see if it'll actually run it. No, it's fine. It's good. It is running it. Wow. Because I just want to power through these 7 months real quick before. Oh yeah, that would be good. Better war. And then I'll slow it back down. Um, look. So, look that in works. 2 more Great. months, I say we stop. Okay, we got... Um, a crappy event, papal rivalry, so the Pope's gonna be mad at us. We get a uh, negative 60 opinion with him. It's not the greatest. That directly affects our papal influence. We still gain a lot. We do. It's modified though by 55% because the Pope's only at what, 55 relations with us? No, it's no. higher than that. 110, so we get half. Yeah. So we just lost 30%, right? Uh. Yeah. Or 25. Was it 60 or 50? It was 60. Yeah, so we lost 30 percent. And it also doesn't help that we have that our clergy is disloyal right now. Right. Oh, that's well. okay. Um, so let's see where are we at now. We're at 40. So I. Now that the months take, we're gonna stop drilling. That way we can prepare I agree. for war. Who's Brittany at war with? Brittany is at war with Provence. Brittany's at war with France, too. Oh, GG. Yep, so much for Brittany. Naples is winning the war, it seems. Look at the Papal State. Yeah, Naples is doing good over there. Um, but they can't get boats over to Aragon, though. Yeah, I, I don't guess. know how they're winning. Who? I'm assuming Ferrara got called into that war. For our yeah, they're help. also yeah. Okay, that's not the point though. Um, <laughs> could offer Condottieri to uh, Brittany. Brittany, who's at war with France? Okay, we got so another event. Family ties. Um, our opinion with Aragon will increase, and we get ten Diplo power. Okay. Whatever. Well, I mean, we're not really friends with uh, Aragon, but that helps. No, we have the same dynasty, though. Oh, really? So we might yeah. get the event where we get the union over there soon. Yeah, because you start with the same dynasty. Right. Navarra, Castile, and Aragon all start with the same dynasty. So we are here. We have zero, uh, what was that? War exhaustion. And whoop, so, whoop. like we promised, this guarantee Guaranteed. will come Guaranteed. true. We guarantee. So, we are gonna go to the declare war screen. We're gonna make it over. Let's say uh, Ifni, because if we land in Canaries, we can just go straight from there to Ifni. I, I agree. We, either one. It doesn't really matter. If it was like a fort, oh, we probably oh, want to oh, take. The, wait. What? Before we declare, we should assign a new rival. Oh right, right. Because we can do that. I totally forgot. Because uh, Morocco is no longer eligible. They're too small. And so Bur Burgundy. Um, let's, let's not. It's, well, it's Burgundy. Oh, no, 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 okay. Allies. They already rivaled us, so just go Burgundy, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. So I, I'm assuming you've done that already? I just did. Alright. Wait, how many favors do we have? Oh! If we wait till January, we can call in Portugal, not on a promise of land. That's okay. I think we can give them land. I'm not... We're not looking to backstab them like we usually yeah. would be. Yeah. 
All right, so, so Jolof, Jared, and Tlemcen are all going to join against us, but then we are going to call in Portugal on a promise of land. And so that should put us in favor as far as troop numbers go, so... It'll be close, but I think we have some tech advantages that they might not necessarily have, so... Yes, we have technology for... And of course our vassal Navarra will be helping us. So let's, uh, let's just go for it. You ready? Yep, and I already have our ships going out to attack them. Alright, nice. Our first war. So, um, let's see. Let's move our troops down to Cadiz. We'll see if uh, we can get access to Granada or not. Oh, we captured two ships. Wow. And they were both barks. That's wonderful. So we can add these to our privateering. Do you remember where uh, we were privateering? In we are actually... Con I'm currently moving our navies back all together so we don't get attacked. If you can see our eight stack right there in the Gulf of Almeria, literally a day from joining the rest of our fleet. Yeah, I see that. Because I, I wanted to... Oh, and these it. ships are really broken, so we're going to have to repair those. Yes, I'm repairing them. I'm sending all of the trade ships in, because trade ships aren't great for fighting. So. Uh, we do have a naval advantage, though, so we should be okay as far as um, that goes. That's true. I'll just send the broken ones, then. But if you want, we can land in Tangiers. I'm bummed that they already started sieging Ceuta. So they can't just walk across. Yeah. Oh! Diplotech. Right. Like that. Okay. So that one gave us marketplaces. It. And trade range. Extra trade range, but we can't really use that very much. Later it's on, that, that would be more beneficial, but we already talked about trade in the last episode. So if yep. you haven't watched that yet, go back and look at it. Yeah. Okay, so... Do you want to move our troops across? I uh, that's a thing I don't know, cause I would like to siege back Ceuta, but I would also not like to attack them, and I hate naval landings. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am just put the barks in the in the port, please. Okay. And you might want to lower the speed down since we're actually at war. I'll go down to two. I don't wanna go down to one. Okay, that's fine. So, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to use our transport ships, which allow us to move troops onto boats. And it's just a more fast way of moving troops around across sea, province, sea tiles. <gasps> um, do you want to do something kind of tricky? What? We can actually land our troops in Ceuta and be the defender. You just like move your ships into the port of Ceuta. And but we can only attack. move ten at a time, and I don't want to. Fight. Oh, yeah. So let's just go take the war. Uh, the is it Ifni or Agadir? The war goal. I guess Ifni. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this button here, and that'll attach ten troops to our transports here. And so all we have to do is move the boats out, and it automatically takes ten people, ten troops. You can see they have ten on this transport ships. So we're going to move down to the Canaries. In fact, we're just going to land in the Canaries. Yep. I think we should just invade from the south. Do you agree? Uh, yes. I think we should keep these 18 troops up here as kind of a walker for now. All right. And so when we land, you can see that the troops automatically unload into the Canaries. Now we're going to go up and grab another portion of our army. I, I would... Okay. I was just going to land these ones. Oh. Oh, I don't think we're going to get those boats, though. Uh, no. Unfortunately. Are those just trade ships? Yeah, I think oh. we can straight out attack them if you want. How do they get away? Um, I don't know. They're going to the Lusitanian Sea. We can probably get them together. Let's see. Oh, well. I think it's because we have heavies. Okay, we do have access through Granada, so we could try moving the rest down. Maybe when they're not sieging? Yeah... I'm going to assign a leader. I'm going to assign our heir because he's poop. We kind of want him to die. Yeah, he's a zero, zero, zero leader. He's a good military leader, though. A 3-2-2. Two, two, that's not bad. Um, so... We do not have access to... Not anymore. So just stay out of there. I'm going to try moving some troops down now. 
Okay, so they are attached to this one. Alright, and so we're just going to land into Ifni. And we're going to do that navally landing on there. Yep, which is pain in the butt. <laughs> so, what we do is we transport them, and they can just instantly move on to any province that borders the sea tile. We can move them to Agadir, we can move them into Ifni. But... And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Ifni before landing the other ten. And then just move our boats into the port with the other ten probably, right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yep. So yeah, if you so recall, we declared this war over claim. And we selected Ifni to be the war goals. War goals... Nope. Actually, you selected Agadir. I did select Agadir. I didn't even notice that. I think I was not paying attention. We wanted Bye. to select Ifni, but we chose Agadir. So as soon as we get the war goal and occupy Agadir, we get bonus to the war score each month. You can see it's negative right now because we don't have Agadir. Agadir, if need, doesn't really matter. It's, it's just a... Okay. The only thing is if needs farther away. So now we have those troops occupying if need. So we are going to move these troops onto boats that are in the Canaries. Wait. Where are you going? Now land here. And so now that it's occupied, we can safely land our boats onto the province of Ifni. And so you can see we have our entire army here. Um, should we just leave the 8th stack up there for now? I was planning on it, because we also have... It's not a lot, but we have a 20% rebellion chance in Rioja. I think I'm just going to go move them up there. Actually, oh, thanks, Navarre is just sitting on Rioja. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. Let's actually, okay. I'm going to set Navara to support. And I set our 8 stack as, uh... Hey, we got Agadir. War so goals now, ours. Yeah, um... Show them the so ticking I war say, score. Yeah, okay. So now you can see, um... Once the month is over... It's not ticking right now. Once the month's over, it'll begin ticking. Okay. Do we want to move in? Just move one stack at a time. I think we should take the fort right there and, um... Marlek? Markek? Markek. Markek. Do you want to move a 10 stack into Su uh, Sus or Sus as well? Yeah, we might as well occupy them at the same time. Okay. Gives us more vision, too. Yeah. So, so far we're doing okay. Um, no engagements yet, and they are not successfully sieging down Kuwait though, so... Not even a little it, bit. Uh, however you want to say it. See. I'm sorry if you are from Morocco, and I am totally butchering your home town or whatever. So you can see we're actually making money now. We were make, we're in, we were we did have a deficit before the war, but now we are actually able to loot. To make money. Yes, and so... War um, is profitable. It's very profitable if, you know, if you know what you're doing. Yes. And so in order to loot, all you have to do is just select an army and put it in a hostile province, and they will automatically loot. Yes, please bring them up here. Oh. So we can't actually do that. Um, yeah, I know. I tried. <laughs> so just leave the 10 stack there and haha, -ha, and I'll move this one into the, onto the fort. Yep. You can see our our leader has two siege, so that'll be two extra progress automatically towards that fort. And you can see that we yeah. only have a negative 35 right from the get-go. They're still at negative 49. They made some progress, but not very great progress. Part of the reason they have terrible is because they can't blockade. Yeah, because our province. navy is superior. Grr. So guess what Portugal's doing? Wait, what? Guess what Portugal's doing in this war? Nothing. No, they're actually attacking Jolof, which is this country down here, which we couldn't see before, but they are like a oh, minor, wow. like African country down here. We'll be able to Jolof. see it later, but we can't see it now because they're in we terra should, incognita. Uh, we should vassalize Jolof. If uh, we can. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to be able to do them. That would be interesting. Can we? Yeah, we can. Oh, they'll take it right now. We should definitely vassalize Jolof. That gives us eyes down in Africa. 
That's a really good idea. Yeah, and we have we'll a free get eyes spot. later, no matter what. Yeah, but it gives us a provinces down there to begin. We can actually take provinces, though, for zero war score. Really? Why? Yeah. It's not with zero war score. It says zero for some reason. I don't know why. It's be Did you already have Castilian Vassal selected? Oh, yeah, that's why. So you're just taking provinces from our Vassal. Right, that's why. Or well, just we could full them. annex them. Do we want to full annex them instead? Do we okay? Do we want to play pay admin points, or do we want to have them down there that we can like use their claims on people? I think we should or do admin. And so here's an important thing you want to consider in like every land grab that you go for. Um, you have to consider what you're ahead on right now. And so if you look, um, we're doing we're more ahead on admin than we are diplo, and we. Yeah. We already have one vassal, and that would max out our relationship, so we can't take any more. So we could either true. full annex, we could take some of their provinces. I think it's either full annex, vassal. I don't think we should do, or nothing, one of the three. I don't think we should take some. Can't All right. really see. No. My vote is on full annex. Full annex? Okay, go for it. Okay. I, I, it's a good land, it's good land to take. Yeah, we'll have some provinces down there, which is good. So show people well, what we mean by full annex. So when you full annex, that means you just basically take all of their provinces. I already did the peace deal, so if you weren't paying attention, I just selected all their land. And so if we unpause it for a day, we now have all their land. Haha! <laughs> and so this is what they used to look like. They used to have these four provinces. And it Castilian was covered by Terry Dolph. Incognita because we couldn't see it before. So obviously we could conquer it without ever being there. Right. <laughs> now there is some problems. Um, this land is Sunni, so we'll eventually have to convert it. And right now it is not cored. Mm -hmm. So if you, I don't know if I covered this or not, but basically the land that we own is all cored by us. It is part of our core territory. That is Castile. This part is land that we have taken, and it's just occupied by us. We haven't really considered it part of our core country. It's not Castile as much as this land over here is Castile. So in order to make it part of our core country, we have to um, make it a core. And so we do that by spending admin power. And so we just start. We can go with this first one here. It's only 15 admin to core was that Traz Trarza and so we'll start with that Trarza can we only do that one so far yeah oh I think the others are too lucky. far away we got very lucky that yeah. we could actually core it yeah by the way just so we know uh, currently, the Tlemcen have their entire army on Ceuta, except for maybe a one stack. But Morocco has 20,000 troops that we cannot see. <laughs> Just so we both know. Okay. Well, I think we're Unpausing. safe, though. Unpausing. Oh, there's one-tenth of Morocco's army. Alright, so Portugal was down here, and they fought all that war for us. So thank you, Portugal. They actually have done most of the war participation. So we're gonna Which have to give sucks. we're gonna have to give them some land. We should probably give them Tangiers, just so we don't have to occupy that fort next time. Right. Well, we'll see what we have to give them. Right now, we should probably be giving them more than we take. We're only planning on taking two provinces. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see it. Don't worry. We're okay. You want to move it into Marrakech? No. Or here's no, we what, should. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay. So this is a level two fort, right? Yep. So the maximum amount of troop regiments we need are six in order to effectively siege it. Any Correct. less means we won't be able to siege it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave six infantry and then move four cavalry. That way this force down here is a little bit stronger. So, and because we don't want to be attacked in Marrakech because we would be the attacker even though they attacked us because we're attacking their fort. Right. 
and Haha ha were defending in the mountains, which gives you a bonus to defense. Right. With the same amount of troops and a better general. So, if they want to attack us. Oh, there's Jared with some 6,000 more troops. But still, we don't care if they unoccupy this stuff right now. Um, now we have a problem actually. What? We're gonna be trapped? Our, our provinces are kind of trapped. Which provinces? That we just took. Why? Because we can't really get down to them with boats now, can we? Oh. And they have and a lot this of, is why we should have. This they have is why a lot we of revolvers. Have we should have vassalized them, but it's okay. We can. We technically only have the one core. We could technically still release them as a vassal. If it gets that, I think for now we can increase their autonomy, and so autonomy represents how um, free they are, how free, how much control they have over their own land. So if they had an autonomy of zero, the government would have complete control, which is us. We can we can build some troops down there, by the way. We can. Or we they're ask Portugal they're gonna to share. they're gonna revolt really fast at this rate. So if we increase their autonomy, they they will be slower at revolting. Yes. Because when you increase autonomy, it decreases unrest by ten. So if you can hear that, Nathan's doing it right now. And you can see each province has now 10 less. Oh, we suffered a disease outbreak on Marakek. It's okay. I think by next month it should fix itself. Yes, it will. And if you click on there, the fort defense in the siege screen, mm -hmm. their fort defense is only 9.5, when it usually would be a lot higher because of Castilian spy network in Morocco. Yes, we do get extra progress towards uh, siege ability for having a spy network and, there. And that's why we still have our spy working in their nation, even though we don't want to fabricate any more claim. Okay, they decided to change their mind off of those sieges. Which is good for oh, us. Oh, they stopped on Ceuta as well. I see that. Which probably means they're grouping up to attack us. They might be. Do you want to bring our other troops down here? We can. Or should we just run? Uh, I don't think we can run very well. How much siege status do we have? Not very much. Well, we do have access straight to our land, so if we need to run, we can run. That's true. Back they to actually our own territory. I th actually think gonna... they might be. Wait, what are you doing? Trying they to are. prevent them from attacking us? They are. Just... They're not shying away. It's okay. Interesting. We're gonna have a f our first battle. And so you can see, since we have the tech bonus, we did start with a lot more morale. And they are rolling terribly. And we have better tactics. Um, so they just rolled really great in the shock phase, so that's gonna hurt us. Hopefully our troops can get here fast. They'll be there two days, so we'll be safe. There we go. All right, but we also did suffer a crossing penalty, so now we have negative three for each roll. We did win that battle, though. I say we just keep our whole army here now. Yeah, which is going to suck, because our entire forces are going to suffer attrition. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring our troops and land in Haha. -ha. In Haha? -ha? Okay. Yeah. I would wait to the end of the month, or not. It's okay. We're gonna suffer attrition for that. We are already suffering a lot of attrition, and we have lots of extra manpower, so we should be fine for now. Yeah, it just hurts me, you know. I know. I'm very um, particular about my attrition suffering on boats. On boats, boats, boats. Um. <laughs> All right, so we got an event, Matters of State. 
So the queen consort needs our support. Maria has our trust. Who cares about a loyal, lowly advisor? So we lose 35 administrative power and the com commandant leaves our court, which I believe is the guy that gives us plus five prestige or discipline, I mean. Yes. Or we just lose 0 0.05 legitimacy for five years. Let's lose the legitimacy, please. I agree. I want the commandant and I hate losing power. Oh, uh, doctor. We yes. should probably move our 15 stack into the Gulf of Almeria to help out with that sea battle over there. Oh yeah, I didn't even recognize that. It was, no, it was, Morocco just moved their troop, their boats out. I think Portugal's Portugal gonna be play. fine though. Port I mean, yes, but they have the same amount of heavies. So, but if we move in, yeah, exactly. They'll retreat if we were moving in, because they're scared of us. Then we can just stay in um, the Straits of Gibraltar. Correct. They're landing two different sets of tiny little troops. It's not okay. the most efficient way. The majority of the army is down here. We honestly might be able to just take Marrakech and just take our two provinces and go home. Well, we do have to get Portugal somewhere in, though. Uh, that's only if they decide that they want to uh, siege stuff down. Because if they don't siege it down, we I don't feel like we're obligated to give it to them. They have the most participation. Hey, there we go. Okay, so that was our first successful siege. So we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I have split the army. And so I'm sending one to Abda as well. We are going to continue marching forward. You're going to move one into Ducala and one into Tadla. Yeah, don't forget our leader. We need our heir on there, so he might die. Because we don't want him to inherit our country. That would be very unfortunate. But it's probably going to happen. It's going to be terrible. So I don't know why, but uh, Portugal has decided to sit a two-stack on top of the fort of uh, Tangiers, even though they need six to effectively siege it. They do have a three-stack in Melilla, so technically they can get back over there if they're taking Melilla. Oh, move into the Gulf of Almeria free naval win so when you take a province if there's an enemy navy in the province oh, that right. you captured they will they have to go out to sea because they no longer control the province so they can't say actually we're gonna stay here no you don't and then you get that you can force their navy out just like that I think they're coming up to attack us again, so we should probably retreat past Marrakech and let them start sieging it. I think we should defend it. We should let them march on it and then defend it. Right. So you can see they're reoccupying everything, which is a pain in the butt, but, you know, um, forts are the most important when it comes to war. They give you the most war score, and they are harder to take back. Occupations, it just takes one siege phase, and they get it back. Yes. Obviously. Chance to capture enemy ships. That's that is wonderful. Best. That's probably the best one that you can get, in my opinion. Do you so, want to move uh, forward into Mechanus and Guard? Um, I think we need to start sieging down their capital. Yes, I agree. So let's just move away from Marrakech, and they can take it back. So I'm gonna move our 10 stack onto Fez because it's a level three fort and it requires nine troops. And this way we can keep our... Clemson, you're at war with us. How can you be trading? Um, That's just something they get to do. Yeah, but I don't understand how you can do it while you're at war with someone. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. But whatever. So, see, because... They, we have the Fort of Marrakech uh, taken. They cannot actually march past us. 
So that's why we took it partially. So that they have to re-siege it. And so we have some defense over here, kind of. Yes, but it looks like they're coming back around. It does look like they're coming back around. But it's okay, we're making good progress. We already have one province. And we still have a better army because they're still on tech three. I'm going to move a one stack onto the siege with, oh no, Portugal, they land, they are landing troops. Why are you doing it like that? We took guard, just land, whatever. I don't get the AI sometimes. Me neither. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to do two back-to-back -back wars because, as you can no notice here, if I was to declare war on uh, Granada right now, Portugal cannot join because they are fighting on a war on the same side as we are. Which is honestly the main reason we declared this. Yes, that's the only reason we decided to take this land, but we did get a lot of land out of it. It's going to be worth it. Hopefully. Our participation should be going... Yeah, see, we have the majority of participation now. Right. The, the nice thing is, if our participation uh, goes above like 80 and theirs is below 20, the land that they, that they require for us to give them, I don't believe that... Uh, I believe if they do under 20%, we don't have to honor the, the deal. Seems like time is flying by right now. Well, we are on one speed, though. I know. I mean, but comparatively, just because we've been at peace for so long, being yeah. at war feels super nice. I know. Okay, Portugal. Disease outbreak, please? unfortunately. Ah. Uh, we are doing much better on our seats, though, than they are on theirs. Well, they're not even... Oh, you mean down here. Yeah. Yes. We have already breached the walls, as you can see. Just try and encourage Portugal to do that by blockading it. Should we send a one stack over there? Just to actually get the seed rolling? Uh, sure. Because, I mean, it doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't. In fact, they need to take that if we are going to give it to them. Correct. At this point, we might just be giving them Malila, which is a province I would actually like to have, but that's beside the point. Well, it is in the North Moroccan state, and so... Oh, that's true. They usually should probably you want to conquer three. by states, and so we are yes. going for this state, even though we can only take Ifni and Agadir with claims. We could take Haha. It's only five developments. It's not like it's going to kill um, us. Let's improve with France. That we By the way, our corruption is growing. I don't know if you noticed that. I did. And it's going to be for a little while. In fact, we should stop paying for it. I don't care if it goes up. We need the money. Yeah, I agree. Before we go bankrupt. The issue Corruption's is that we have overextension. It's overextension is what it is that we can't core, so it's just gonna... Yeah. Although we both like to have our doing something at all times, when you're at, you usually want to keep one free so you continually can continually look at peace deals. Uh, we are negative six reasons from getting up. Oh, we're getting attacked. Pause it. Oh, by the way, uh, Portugal attached to us. So we can move Portugal's troops in to defend us. Um, let's just do that. That'll probably scare them. Yeah. So you, you can pause. We, and then we take less losses. Okay. Are they seriously going to keep marching? They probably have more troops behind that. And they did break their siege down in. No, uh, because the, their 14 stack is still down there and they only have 20,000 troops. They must have, like, Jared coming in from somewhere, but, like, 
Jeez, that's ballsy. See, there's another 2,000 right there. I'm pretty sure they have armies coming straight in. Yeah, but I think we'll be fine. No, we definitely will be. I don't know why they're doing this. It's very stupid of them. It's they do get the negative two on us because we are sieging down mountains. Yes, but we have w better tech with way more troops. Yeah, so we just crushed that stack right there. Yes. Actually, I'm going to move our 10 stack off and leave the stack that's attached so that Portugal can suffer the attrition. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's stop influencing. I canceled Navarra. it, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't we only have much sense since they're already our vassal. Yes, and we need the three ducats. Come on, take this right here. I'm gonna move our troops back so we can loot some more. I think, um... Well, I mean, I guess Mechanist, so it's still awesome. Yes, if you could please move our troops off, we're suffering a lot of attrition there. Yes, I know. I was trying to move to Figuig, but we couldn't. We have 40% down on our first core down there. Yeah. We can't convert any of the land either. It's annoying. Well, no, they, there was a modifier on these provinces. They have a uh, religious zeal for some reason. Huh. Yeah. Until 76. Maybe they switched religions. Yeah, maybe. From Animus to Sunni. Maybe. Well, usually okay. a religious seal modifier occurs when you convert a province. Yeah, because there are different times too. It's 76, 78, 70. But, um, Trarza does not have it. Yeah, I know. I don't know why. It's very Probably. peculiar. Yes, I agree. So, after this war, we can also do another thing is that we can uh, try and request to share maps with Portugal so they could show us where I I agree and we need to be in positive prestige so we will get there but we will probably. at the end of this war yeah cuz it's a bummer I wanted to humiliate them on top of taking these couple provinces we might st oh yeah but they're not our rival we can't. yeah exactly that's what oh, we are present on two continents yes because we took the land down there isn't is canaries not considered part of it's considered part of Iberia, that's weird. Yeah. Well, that's just because Spain has it at the start. I guess. Castile has it, I mean, sorry. Excuse me. Okay, so we got their capital. So now you can see they don't want to be in this war anymore. Um, but we do need Portugal to siege that down so we can give them lands. I am taking over. I'm going to go get Malila for them right now. I'm also attacking Clemson. I don't think we should tell them to attach anymore. Well, I'm just doing it so that we can use Portugal's troops to attack, and then I'm going to let go. Next question oh, no, is, should we siege down to Clemson as well? Um, no. Unless we want war reps from them, but we could probably get that out of them fairly easy but I don't really want to take land from them we already have overextension in Africa South Africa you know what I mean, lower Africa yeah yeah I don't think it's worth it but that would get them out of the war well, I'm trying to kill their troops right now it's part I don't think that'll do much we are blockading them So let's see what uh, Portugal wants here. Okay, so they do have claims on Melilia, so we might be able to peace out right now if you want to try and do that. So let's see. They would be happy with us too. Yeah, they would. So, and we can get war reps. Um, yes, war reps. So yeah, we could easily call it right there if you want. I... Um, Okay, let me see. I'm checking stuff out right now. Don't press anything though, because we need to start our other war and move our troops Correct. out so we can do that. Okay, 
we can get out right now, and I'm totally fine with that. Let's move our 10 stack to Cadiz, and we can actually just march straight through Granada. And I'm, yeah. Actually, we could just march into Gibraltar, and I'm fine with that. No, you can't say that, because then you get black flagged. No, if we declare the war and march, and just start sieging it. I think we want to be ready to attack their troops right away. Oh, really? Okay. So, I'll move to Cadiz. And what's... Okay, good. No more attaching. Yes, please. You can siege this, you can siege this down. Thank you. Just go. I don't go really on to Cadiz. Yeah. I love yeah, how we actually... That was a very good first war. Yes, I agree. If we take Tangiers, we actually don't want to, though. Because that would mean that... Uh... Here, I have a better idea. What do you think? I just moved the troops by boat. Not instead of having to try and walk them. Okay. They right. appear. Well, before we peace out, uh, we're going to have to take a break there. Yeah. All that's right. Good. Yeah, that was very good, good uh, first war there. In fact, that took us 40 minutes. We kind of went overboard there. Hey, but we, we did do the entire war in one episode. Yep. Pretty so. much. We are going to peace out in the next episode and then start our war with Granada. So, um, just basic review of all the war mechanics and how all that stuff works um so yeah that was a pretty productive episode um thank you guys for watching so much if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and uh we will see you next time see you guys all right thank you again for watching